This is the degassing stage of polymerization. You can see the bubbles are fairly vigorous, but not so vigorous that they would expel material over the top of the vial. This is a two milliliter polymerization. This is the pressure gauge for the polymerization. Very low pressure. At this point we have the buffer and all the monomers in there, but not the SDS because that would cause a lot of foam, and no APS yet because that is what will initiate polymerization. So those are made as separate solutions which will be added after this degassing is complete. Here Nick Markman is adding APS, ammonium persulfate, and SDS to the monomer mixture. He's adding the APS first, that's your free radical initiator, and he'll add the SDS second. I'm not sure whether the order of addition really matters much. During this time, the reaction mixture is open to the atmosphere, so oxygen could enter, but most of the time we have not had problems with that. If it does appear to be a problem, we can add a septum, which will keep the atmosphere out, and then we'll inject these initiators with a syringe. All the components are in the polymerization mixture now and we have a small magic bean stirring the mixture for a few hours during which time we expect to see polymerization visibly occur. Here's the polymerized product. This is a particularly dense polymerization. It's very opaque. Normally we see it as a little more transparent. The next step is to dialyze this to allow any unreacted monomers to be removed from the polymerization mixture. We're also trying to dialyze out the template, which in this case is lysozyme. Here's a polymer, non-imprinted, that's largely made of NIPAM and isopropyl acrylamide. And you can see it, it looks like water. There's no evident polymerization. But this type of polymer has a phase transition temperature of maybe about 35 degrees Celsius. And it's possible we do have polymers here that are invisible to the eye. To test that, we can use a warm water bath, which will exceed the phase transition temperature, and then we may see evidence of polymerization. Here I have a water bath, about 48 degrees, and I'll immerse the polymer, or the suspected polymer, in this warm water bath to see what I get. All right, so I'm just shaking my vial in the warm water. You can see here I'm getting a significantly hazy suspension, so I know that there are nanoparticles in here, and the temperature changes making them go through a phase shift, which makes them more visible. This is a polymerization being done with a septum to prevent air from entering the chamber. So we're bubbling nitrogen in, and this is an exit port here for the nitrogen, so the pressure doesn't build up. A few groups have found that this has helped their polymerization. If it doesn't work in the open vial, then try it with the septum.